it is YouTube, it's DMX Free back with another video with another reaction, whatever you want to call it. And today we're reacting to keep on saying reacting to, bro. This is a story time, bro. This is a story time. So um this is pretty much story time of how I got into underground rap for real. How like how underground rap like kind of changed my life and changed me as a person. So basically, I'm gonna start off. I'm gonna start off from elementary, middle, and high, and like kind of my college life. So elementary school, I was just really listening to anything, anything like I was really just listening to anything my brothers was listening to. So back then, my brothers was just like really listening to like. They was, they was really big on 3-6 Mafia. Like, 3-6 Mafia was, like, big back then. It was really it was really anything that was really on BET. Because, like, that's all I used to watch. And I, any, anybody that was popular on BET, for real, that's, that's who, like... That's who, that's who everybody, like, listened to, for real. Like, it, it, was, it was all BET. I know, if, if y'all remember what BET is and stuff like that, like... It, it, everything was all on BT, all the artists, like everything. If you was on BT, yo, you was big. So it wasn't like a, I mean, it was like a underground scene back then too, but it it wasn't like as big like as, as it is now because like now it's like the underground is kind of like, like you you got a, you you got it you got a little core of underground music, and then you got you got that fan base type, type core too. So. Basically, we, we just used to listen to BT, but um, when I used to be in the Brothers with my car and stuff, like all they really used to play was Three Six Mafia, and we we listened to a lot of Gucci Mane too. Three Six Mafia, Gucci Mane, Brick Squad, OJ the Juice Man, Wooda Kid, like like we listened to like just a lot. So that that's that was like in elementary school. So elementary school, I'm I'm gonna say it was really more Three Six Mafia and Lil Boosie. That's why I used to like. Like really listen to middle school, got in middle school. So middle school, middle school. I was, I was like, I was still like finding my own music. I was listening to and stuff like that. So I'm gonna say sixth grade, sixth grade, sixth grade. Um, uh, sixth grade. I was really because that's when Lil Wayne and Eminem was like doing collabs and stuff like that and drake drake was like hella hot at, was getting hella hot in sixth grade bro when i was in sixth grade so i was really listening to lil wayne drake uh eminem but at the time i'm not gonna lie at the time i used to play the ps3 a lot i used to play ps3 like a lot and i used to play skate 3 skate 2 on the ps3 a lot so on the ps3 i think my brother like put his like ipod on into the like ps3 so it downloaded this like hella music that he had on his ipod it was like a hella music too i mean like hella music so i um i just used to listen to that every time i used to play skate 3 or skate 2 and i used to play skate 3 and skate 2 a lot so like i, I was just listening to that really and what i used to listen to was really gucci lil boosie three six mafia um, Woo the Kid, OJ the Juice Man. Um, that's probably all I used to really listen to. And Lil Wayne, of course. Um, Yo Gotti. Um, I think I already said Gucci. Brick Squad. Um, yeah, brother, I think that's like really it. So, sixth grade, seventh grade, I was. Seventh grade, I was still kind of listening to the same people. But in seventh grade, that's when Tyler Curator started to get hot. It was Odd Future and Tyler Curator. So uh, I wasn't really a fan of Tyler Curator when I was in seventh grade because I just thought he was weird. And I just like, I, I didn't mess with that. Like I didn't grow up on that type of music back then. So I just thought he was like, he was like weird. I was like, no, nah, I don't see myself listening to that. But I used to go to my friend house like all the time and stuff like that. And he used to be like, yo, you gotta listen to different type of music. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot one one more person. I used to listen to a lot of Soldier Boy too. 
Soldier Boy, bro, I listen to a lot of Soldier Boy. Because that's all my brother used to listen to was Soldier Boy, bro. So I listen to a lot of Soldier Boy. No cap. <laughs> like a lot of Soldier Boy, bro. Like Soldier Boy was was heat back then, bro. Like with this is mixtape, bro. When he was dropping them, bro, his mixtape was heat back then. But anyway, um and that was like that was like that was like seventh grade. I'm gonna say that was like seventh grade. So I got into the eighth grade. Eighth grade, that's when I kind of, I gave Tyler the Creator a chance. And then I was like, um, I, I started liking him. Cause I, I just, I, I just, I just fuck with the style. I fuck with his style and fuck with his music. Like he was just different from everybody I was listening to. So I was like, yo, this is, this is hard. Like, this is hard. Like our future, Wolfgang, bro, like. Those days, bro, it was hard. So I just completely became a fan of Tyler Creator back then. Like, at that time. So it was, I was really, like, mostly just listening to Tyler Creator and sometimes Mac Miller, Earl Sweatshirt. Like, I was just, that's all I was really listening to, like, in eighth grade. And it's still Soldier Boy. Oh, yeah, yo, bro. I, bro, eighth grade, bro. I, seventh and eighth grade, bro. I was a big Wiz Khalifa fan, bro. Nobody could tell me nothing, bro. I. I used to listen to Wiz Khalifa all the time, bro. Wiz Khalifa was hard. I mean, Wiz Khalifa still is hard, but back then, Wiz Khalifa was really hard, bro. Like, Wiz Khalifa was really hard. Like, I'm not, no, I'm not kidding you, bro. Wiz Khalifa was really hard. So, I was eighth grade. I was really just listening to Wiz Khalifa, Tyler Crater, Mac Miller, Earl Sweatshirt, all Future Wolf Gang, really, um, yeah, I think that's all I really used to listen to, like, back then. So, got in high school. My freshman year of high school. I was still... Freshman year of high school... Grade, ninth grade. I'm just starting ninth grade. Ninth grade, I was listening to... Mac Miller. Wiz Khalifa. Tyler the Creator. Um, I, I was really on, like, ASAP Rocky. Definitely ASAP, bro. Oh, yeah. Eighth grade, too. Going back to eighth grade. I'm sorry I keep on going back, but I just keep on forgetting people, bro. ASAP Rocky was a big, was big when I was in eighth grade, bro. I, I was listening to him heavy, too. So, ninth grade, when I got in freshman year, bro, I was listening to ASAP Rocky, Tyler Crater, Mac Miller, Wiz Khalifa, um, Mellow Hype, if y'all know who that is, All Future Wolf Gang, um, uh, I'm just saying All Future, um, uh, I don't know, bro. It's a lot I was listening to, bro. But I know, like, they, they was the main. Um, That's all I was listening to in ninth grade. And in ninth grade, I was still, like, kind of finding myself, bro. I was still finding my swag. I don't think I was really myself in ninth grade. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, Tenth grade came along. I kind of got, I kind of developed more swag, for real. I kind of started putting myself together, putting up fresh bits and stuff like that. Like, kind of started putting myself together and stuff like that. Um, 10th grade came along, I stopped wearing glasses because like all through elementary school, middle school, and ninth grade, I was wearing glasses. And 10th grade finally came along, girl, I got contact, and I stopped wearing glasses. No, 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 I, I was, uh, my glasses broke. And, and this was like probably like in the middle of when I was in 10th grade. So I started wearing contacts and I never went back, bro. I never went back to glasses. Because when I started wearing contacts, bro, that's when the girls started coming in. They was like, oh my God, you look so good with all glasses and stuff like that. I was like, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> but uh, yeah, bro. Um, ninth grade, um, tenth grade. That's when I started finding myself. I started like develop swag and stuff like that. You can say. Um, Tyler Creator was still big to me in tenth grade. It was Tyler, and I think this was when. No, nah, I think that was ninth grade when uh, while I was in ninth grade was when his mixtape Wolf came out, and that's still one of my favorite like. My favorite albums to this day, bro. That, like that's still one of my favorite albums to this day. So we was, I was, I was really just listening to Tyler Creator like a lot in tenth grade. Like I think that was just really my main person I was listening to was Tyler Creator, and and it was still ASAP, ASAP Mob, ASAP Rocky. I was really listening to that. 
was really listening to ASAP Mob, ASAP Rocky, Tyler Creator, Soldier Boy. Yeah, I think that was like really the main three I was listening to. I think I was using Spin Real at the time, bro. And then 11th grade came along, bro. 11th grade came along. It was still the same, bro. It was still the same. I was still like, I was still the same person I was in the 10th grade, for real. Like, I was still listening to the same people. Like, it was nothing new, for real. And then, woohoo, bro. <laughs> when I got into the 12th grade, bro. When I got into the 12th grade, bro. I don't know, bro. That's, that's when, that's when, like, that, that's when hip-hop just changed bro in the 12th grade that's when hip-hop changed like i'm no kidding bro to me i don't know to y'all but to me and this was like 2015 2016 yo this is when hip-hop changed for me bro because this when 12th grade when i was 12th grade bro this one little uzi came out this one little uzi came out famous dex came out playboy cardi came out um X and Ski came out, but I, I didn't know him back then. I didn't know him back then. But 21 Savage, like, this, this one when they started coming out. And really, I was just listening to, you, like, I was really, I was really into Cardi, bro. Like, Playboy Cardi, bro, he was, bro, I was listening to Playboy Cardi a lot. A lot, bro. And 12th, 12th grade is when I kind of got into the underground scene because I was, I was really, like, this what happened, this what happened, bro. Basically, I was on Instagram scrolling. On Instagram scrolling, and wait, let me pull this down a little bit. It's kind of weird. But I was on Instagram scrolling, bro. On Instagram, and I saw this little basketball. I used to follow this little page, basketball bonds and stuff like that. Cause that's when bonds was still like kind of hot. So, um, I saw, I saw like a little hoop mixtape or like a dunk, mix, whatever, bro, hoop mixtape, I'm going to say. And then Chris Travis Crunch Time was playing in the background. And I was just like, yo, what is this song, bro? This song is hard. So I looked in the comments to see if somebody commented like, what song is this? What song is this? Somebody commented, what song is this? It was Chris Travis Crunch Time. Straight looked it up on YouTube. Listen to Chris Travis Crunch Time, bro. And I was like, yo, this is hard, bro. Like, yo, what the hell? Like, this is, I started calling everybody, bro. I started calling everybody I knew and telling like, yo, do you listen to Chris Travis, bro? Yo, Chris Travis is hard, bro. Like, there ain't no way, bro. Chris Travis is hard. Chris Travis is freaking hard, bro. So, uh, um, I ended up listening to Chris Travis a lot, bro. Like, I kind of, I kind of stopped listening to everybody else, and Chris Travis was the main person I was listening to, like, just period, bro. So, I was listening to Chris Travis, and. I was, um, then, um, I had, I had, like, a cool little friend, bro, and he, he would kind of put me on to, like, underground artists, bro, so he told me to check out Bones, I did check out Bones, and I forgot the first song I ever heard about Bones, bro, I think it was, um, uh, damn, bro, what was the first song I ever heard about Bones, bro, I remember the mixtape, bro, I'm gonna look it up. It was Return of the Pimp. That was the first song I ever heard about Bones was Return of the Pimp. So I was hearing Return of the Pimp. Then I was like, alright, this this bump for real, but I still wasn't a fan. Like, I didn't... Like, the song was hard, but I wasn't really, like... It wasn't really getting with me. So, I, uh, end up, like, that summer. I end up, um, 12th grade summer for real. I end up listening to Xavier Wolf. Became a big fan of Xavier Wolf. Like, I just was... Going, I was bored one day, so I just went down and just listened to all, like, all his mixtapes. And I became a big fan of Xavier Wolf. And Xavier Wolf was just hard. Like, it was, it was, it was just hard. It was hard. So. Bro, it, it was hard. Xavier Wolf was just hard. Like, I, I didn't know what to say. Like, it was just hard. And then, like, I was listening to him, Chris Travis. And Bones, because I started giving Bones a chance, too. Started listening to Bones. Heavy, bro. And oh, yeah, 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 bro. You're going back to ninth grade. I'm sorry I came on going back, but I just came on forgetting stuff. So, ninth grade, this one I kind of noticed the underground scene. and But I, I still didn't know nothing about him, bro. I didn't know, like, nothing about underground. Like, I didn't know nothing about that. So, 
this um my homeboy, my homeboy that I knew like since elementary school. That I knew since elementary school. Um, I didn't go to uh middle school with him or high school. He he ended up coming he ended up coming to my high school like that twelfth grade year. We like we were cool. So um, um ninth grade I used to follow him on Instagram and I saw uh, Fat Nick and Punya. It was some song. And then I was like, yo, what song is this? It was bumping. I'm like, yo, this song bumping. I was like, what song? He told me this. And then at the time, I, I was using... No, it wasn't Spinnerilla at the time. It was it was Gorilla something. No, 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 no. Bro, I forgot what the app was called. But it was some app I was using. And it wasn't like... I think because my iPod was too old or something like that. My iPhone, iPod, whatever I had at the time was too old. So I couldn't download music no more. So I couldn't download that song. I really wanted to listen to that song. I'm like, yo, this song bump. So I just, I just forgot about Fat Nick and Punya like back then, and I end up like listening to him again like a couple years later. But um, what's the name? Y'all probably hear my dog in the background too. Sorry, can't, can't, can't. Hey, hey, don't, don't, hey, don't do it. Hey, hey, can't, don't, don't hey. chill, bro. I'm recording. But anyway, um. All right, I graduated high school and stuff like that. I was still just listening to Cardi, Woozy, um, 21 Savage, um, Ugly God, <laughs> Ugly God to you, bro. Ugly God was hard. Um, it was really everybody that was on the, what double, it was, it was 2016 XXL, right? Kane, come on, come on, bro, stop. Kane, Kane, stop. So um yeah it was really it was really everybody on the 2016 uh double XL list. Bro, I was um listening to Bro I'm, I gotta let my dog out or something, bro, cause he he acting a fool. Like he seen me trying to record. But anyway, um I was listening I was listening to Kodak, Lil Yachty, Uzi, 21 Savage, Playboy Cardi, all of them. Bro, Playboy Cardi should have been on 2016. I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. He was he was like I guess because he wasn't dropping nothing. I don't know. But um, I wasn't listening to Denzel Curry at the time. I wasn't listening to Denzel Curry at all. So, uh, but everybody else I was listening to. Um, Oh, yeah, I wasn't listening to G Herbo. I think G Herbo was on the uh, XXL too. So, uh, I wasn't listening to him. Except Lil Yachty, Kodak Black, 21-7, Uzi. So, that's all I was really listening to in, like, 12th grade. And then my freshman year of college, um, I went... I was listening to the same people, same people really, but I was really listening to Famous Dex and um, Famous Dex and Ugly God and Trill Sammy. I was really a fan of Trill Sammy, bro. I was listening, I was listening to Trill Sammy a lot. Like that's when Trill Sammy was getting hot for. I don't know what happened to Trill Sammy now, but I was listening to Trill Sammy a lot and Famous Dex. That's really like the main two I was listening to a lot and. Famous Dex at the time came out with this mixtape, bro. Let me look it up. Dexter the Robot, bro. Famous Dex came out with Dexter the Robot, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. That album, that mixtape was hard, bro. That mixtape was hard, bro. I was stay bumping that. So I was, it was just really, it was, it was Famous Dex and Trill Sammy. That's all I was listening to back then. Oh yeah, and I was listening to Heartbreak Kid. Heartbreak Kid. I was listening to that too. But I was like really in 12th grade. But um, 12th grade like summer and stuff like that. So um. That year, freshman year of high school, I started listening to X in Ski. Ski Mess Slump God or X, 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 Tough you know. So, um, I became a big fan of him. Like, I remember, still remember how I started listening to X. Um, I started listening to X because, um, somebody has said, like, oh, X suck. X suck. Somebody said on Snapchat, and that's what Snapchat was like. Snapchat still is big, but Snapchat was really popping like back then. But um, X, somebody said X up. I was like, let me listen to him. Like, I want to see if he sucked or really or not. So I said, I went on a uh, Spinrilla, and it was like, it was like, it was like when they used to make like these like little mixtapes that just had like all his songs on this one mixtape or stuff, something like that. And it was like a free X. He was locked up at the time, so it was a free X mixtape and stuff like that. So, um, I was listening to that. I was listening to that, and I, I fell in love. <laughs> I fell in love, yo. His, his music was hard, bro. His music was hard, bro. 
His music was hard, bro. Like, no cap. Like, X was just hard. I'm like, yo, ain't no way, bro. X is too hard. So, and I'm noticing his his best friend, Ski Master Slump Guy. By the way, RPX. But, um, I started notice, noticing Ski Master Slump Guy, and I was like, all right, Ski Master Slump Guy, he cool for real. And then, I, I fell in love with the um with his mixtape um drop top something. It was called Slaps for my drop top mini van. Kane, Kane, if you're gonna be doing all that, get out, bro, please. But <laughs> anyway, it was it was Slaps for my drop top mini van. Um, fire, bro. That was, that mixtape was fire, bro. And I I fell in love when I heard the song um like a soccer mom. Yeah, it was like a soccer mom. Bro, that song was all hurt, bro. And ever since then, I fell in love with Ski and X, bro. And after that, that's really all, all I was listening to at the moment, too. So it was really Ski, X, Playboy Cardi, uh, still Lil Uzi. Um, uh, I kind of started drifting away from Famous X and Tro Sam. I stopped listening to him for real. So that's kind of where the underground scene kind of like took place. And I started kind of getting to the underground scene because like, X and Ski at the time was still kind of underground, bro. They was still kind of underground, and uh, bless you, King. They was still kind of underground, and they. <laughs> look at this dude, bro. Look at this. 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 <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, they was still kind of underground, and um, yeah, bro. And that's when I started going. Uh, started like. Going into SoundCloud and stuff, downloaded SoundCloud, started going into SoundCloud, listening to Ugly God a lot. Um, then I started, I started finding, I still got the old songs that I used to download back in the day. I gotta go all the way down though. This, at the time, at the time, bro, I knew this rapper called J Perp. I don't know if anybody knows J Perp, but it was a rapper called J Perp. Bro, his music was cool for it. It was Space, it was space God, it's J Perp. His music was cool for real. And he was the, J Perk was the reason I really downloaded SoundCloud because I started downloading his music, bro. He had, he had followed me on Instagram and then I just, you know, oh, let me check his shit out, see what it, what it is. And then he, he, he was all right, he was all right. I'm like, he cool for real. So J Perk and Space God, bro, like I started listening to him a lot. So that's when I started kind of getting to the SoundCloud like wave and stuff like that. And then of course, it was Ski Master Slump God. So it was really skate, space, shit. It was J Pert, Space God, Ski Master Slump God, X, Chris Travis still. Um, oh yeah, and that's when Smoke Perp and Lil Pump was getting hot too. So it was Smoke Perp, Lil Pump, Bones, Team Sesh, Duop Kane. Like, it, it was just a lot of people I was just started listening to for real. And... This how I got like my this how I, this how I started to like change, bro. Was, like I stood like I just started to change like my swag and everything just started to change, bro. When when I had um met when I had discovered Lil Nar, Big Guac. So, yeah. When I discovered Lil Nar, bro, I kind of like my I don't know my drip changed, bro. Like kind of how. How 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 I would act kind of changed for real. Cause I just started Lil Nar was like hella cool and shit like that. Like then um I bought my first shirt from Narcotic from Lil Nar. I'm gonna show y'all right now. Bro. I still got it. this shirt right here, bro. This shirt right here I had got from Narcotic, and this is my first shirt from Narcotic, bro. And I just thought it was hella hard. I thought it was hella hard. I'm like yo, I gotta cop this shirt. And like ever since then, like all I all I started rocking was Narcotic, bro. All I started rocking was narcotic, bro. I swear, narcotic was all I was rocking, like seriously. <laughs> like I was just rocking narcotic, and that's when I found my swag. So I started got kind of like dressing like a skateboarder, really. And I wasn't a skateboarder. Now I do skateboard a little bit, bro, but I only know how to do an ollie and just ride around. So I don't really, I'm not really like a big skateboarder and stuff like that. But I know how to skateboard. Um, yeah, bro. So Lil Nar really made me kind of like find myself and like find my swag and yeah bro and then after narcotic oh i just started after narcotic bro i just started messing with underground clothing lines like that's it 
I just started messing with underground clothing lines and underground clothing lines only. So that's why I like most of the shit I wear, bro, you're not seeing nobody with in Baltimore. I live in Baltimore. I, bro, I just think like the way Baltimore people dress is just so basic. Like it's basic as hell. So I try to dress different. And like anything I got on for real. Shoes, you might see somebody with shoes because it's shoes, bro. But like clothes wise, bro, you kind of not seeing nobody with unless I got some H&M pants on or something like that. But clothes wise, you're not really seeing nobody with in Baltimore. Like, I'm probably the only one that got that drip. And that's because I just shop with underground clothing lines. Like that's that's all I wear. That's all I wear is underground clothing lines. Underground clothing lines only, bro. So that's how I, that's how I really found myself for real. Cause the Lil Nar, thanks Lil Nar, <laughs> he made me find myself. But still, like even though like I'm kind of hit with the underground scene and stuff like that, I'm still finding out rappers. In the underground scene that I didn't listen to, bro. Like, Black Cray. Um, Suicide Boys. I started listening to this year. Because I've been knew about Suicide Boys, but I didn't listen to them. Lil Peep. Been knew about Lil Peep. But at the time, like, when he when he died, I think he was still, like, underground. Like, if, I, I still think Lil Peep was underground, like, when he died and stuff like that. So, yeah, Lil Peep. I just started listening to Lil Peep this year. Um... It's still, it's still rappers that, oh yeah, Young Lean, <laughs> and Young Lean came out in 2013, bro, and I just started listening to him this year, bro, so it's crazy, it's real crazy, um, we, I'm still learning, I'm still like, still finding out people from the underground and still like seeing, still seeing different stuff for real, cause I mean like, really, you see stuff for real, but you don't really know everything. Like, nobody knows everything, bro. It's always something that... It's always something that somebody is like, slept on or left out on. But... Yeah, bro, like, that's life. <laughs> that's really life for real. You're not gonna know everything in life for real. There's it's gonna be certain stuff that you... That you... That you're missing out on. And you can be like, damn, like oh, I didn't know this, or how oh, they know about this person, or blah blah blah. So, and that's just that's just life for real. But I think that's it for real. I think I covered everything. Let me know if y'all enjoyed the story time. I'll tell some more story times for real. Yeah, bro. Peace. You guys see more.